Good evening, citizens. Dream Reaver here for Inverse News. Tonight, we're going to look at the recent controversy which has been lighting up Spectrum even more than the recent conspiracy by the 30 cares about the Great Wipe, which still hasn't happened. It all started when an unknown representative from the Stanton system showed up to question CIG, a contracted developer for the UEE, at the Senate Subcommittee on Expansion and Development about a new patch to their latest operating system, the long-awaited 3.18 patch. Let's take a look at that archived video. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the nerdy gentleman here representing the citizens of Stanton system, asking the honorable representative from CIG, when will CIG drop 3.18 to the PU operating system for live release and will be before the end of the year? The Honorable CIG. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the uh, my, my title is uh, the Lead of Marketing and Associate Lead of Finance. I'm sure the Honorable Representative across the way knows that, but let me say, Mr. Speaker, uh, server cap for our operating system has increased from 50 to 100 users. The Honorable Member from Stanton. Mr. Minister, the marketing team can help by telling us when they will release 3.18 to the PU so that we can use it. The Honorable CIG. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to say 126% increase in revenue from 2951 to 2952. Member for Stanton. When will 3.18 drop to the PU since it was initially scheduled to be released in September of 2952? Honorable CIG. Uh, Mr. Speaker, Starfarers are now able to refuel ships, which enables you to dock with another ship and then sell fuel to needy pilots. Uh, this is important inclusion for when we eventually activate jump points to Pyro uh, because those systems are bigger and people are going to run out of fuel. Member for Stanton, just the release date. Honorable CIG. Mining gadgets were added to the operating system for even more refinement to the mining and refining loop. Member for Stanton, and when would those miners get to use 3.18? CIG. Uh, Mr. Speaker, deeper selling was implemented, allowing you to sell items, ship components, and weapons more easily and readily at terminals. Member for Stanton. Uh, I think there's a problem with the audio in the chamber. The question was, when will 3.18 be released to the PU so that we can use the operating system? Is it still going to be this year? The Honorable CIG. Um, Mr. Speaker, we've added a variety of new derelicts and points of interest on the star map, which include derelict outposts, and in 3.18 there will be newly discovered cave systems to explore. The Honorable Member for Stanton. And when would we be able to explore those caves? The Honorable CIG. Mr. Speaker, we've added a river on Microtech and we've added many more rivers in 3.18 with new and improved river tech, which will only get better over time. Member for Stanton. I speak for all of us when I ask, when can we see these new rivers in 3.18? CIG. Mr. Speaker, let's talk about how it will be possible for people to enjoy the scenic riverscapes without worrying about medical injuries when they travel in their new C8R Pisces, which has everything needed to treat light and moderate wounds in style. Honorable Member Stanton, one last time in days, how long until we can launch the 3.18 operating system? Honorable CIG. And we've released loads of data for ships this year. The Hall A, the Mule, the Centurion, the STV, the Scorpius, the Corsair, the Cutter, and the C8R Medical Pisces. Honorable Member Stanton, how long? CIG. We've introduced new citizen-led and backed racetracks, a new dynamic events like Jumptown 2.0 and Siege of Orison, and with the implementation of 3.18, we will introduce even more racetracks and introduce time trials and time tracking mechanics. Stanton. How long? Member CIG. Mr. Speaker, 3.18 is coming. Member for Stanton. Does the minister have any idea what it takes for the average Stanton citizen to refresh his launcher over and over to see if 3.18 is live on the operating system? Does he have any idea or does he even care? The Honorable Member. Uh, Mr. Roberts sent a letter which explained the importance and focus on persistent entity streaming, server meshing, and foundational tech that they're working on as they continue on the road to Alpha 4.0. I think the average Stanton citizen can see how much this company knows and cares about the daily stress involved for all of us waiting on 3.18 to release on this operating system, which is zero. I'm going to give them one last chance. Can you tell us when 3.18 will release, and will it be before the end of the year? Member CIG. Mr. Speaker, we have new concept ships that you can back, such as the Expanse, a dedicated solo refiner ship, the Spirit series of ships C1, E1, and A1. Uh, we also introduced the Galaxy and mentioned how it reinvigorated us into bringing ship modularity back, maybe. And we have made it known that we are continuing to learn from our previous mistakes by making all of the season's Luminali gifts usable, and will continue to do so. Those last comments from the representative from CIG had all of us here scratching our heads and set Spectrum on fire with conspiracy theories started by the 30 Kers that we live in some sort of giant simulation and stating that it was even more proof of the Great Wipe Theory. For more info on that, click on the top right of this video to see our last video. Most scientists agree that the theory we live in a simulation is simply incorrect, but what can you expect from some anonymous evangelicals on Spectrum? Well, citizens, that's all the time we have for today's transmission. Leave us a comment to let us know what you thought of the show, and please be sure to subscribe to keep up with the latest news and happenings from around the verse. And if you have a suggestion for a story to be featured on Inverse News, leave it in a comment below or through our Patreon. Links are in the description. Until next time, this is Dream Reaver reminding everyone to fly safe. Good night, everyone.